A lot of people think they know what the world is, and I would suggest to you that the world is very obviously a dimension, and it's a place and it is a state of being. So it is a location and it is also a state of being. And we are inside of a host body, each one of us. We have our own identity inside that host body. But it is a state of being where life and death both exist within the host body. So you have life and you're going around driving your car, doing all your things that you do, whatever it is you do. But there's a point to where that life is taken away that runs that host body and death. And so the host body as a shell ends up no longer functioning and it comes to a point to where it will not function after the life leaves that body. Well, when the life leaves that body and it's tied to death, well, it goes to that dimension. Death is a dimension. Hell is the dimension that houses death. It is an eternal dimension and it is an eternal dimension of death. Then you have the earth above it. And that is a dimension where there are host bodies. Life and death exist within the same unit called a host body. And the life comes from above. The father of spirits of life is in heaven. So that dimension is all life. The pit is all death. And in between is the earth, life and death within the host body. So when you get converted, you no longer are subject to eternal death. Eternal death is the separation for eternity from the Lord God, from life. You're in an intermediate stage right now. And if you die in your host body before you get converted to life and life, well, then you go to another dimension. That's eternal separation from the Lord God. That's eternal death. That's what this is all about. That's what the earth is about. That's what being in your host body is all about. Your host body is proof that you rebelled against the Most High. People think they're here because, oh, this is what I'm wonderful. No, this is actually a punishment. People don't know that against whom we have sinned was it the not the lord god against whom we have sinned exodus 20. you shall not make unto yourselves any graven image or any likeness embodiment of anything in the heavens the earth or the waters under the earth you shall not bow down nor serve them from the days of your forefathers you have been wayward and have not kept my laws if you will return to me, I will return to you, says the Lord. Do not think you will be saved by your rituals, by going to the temple. It is not sacrifices the Lord demands. Bring no more vain offerings, saith the Lord. I delight not in the blood of bullocks and of lambs. The sacrifice God demands is a repentant heart.